Kratos XQ-58A Valkyrie Loyal Wingman drone successfully completed its fourth test demonstration flight on Thursday, January 23, at Yuma Proving Grounds, Arizona, the company said in a statement. During the envelope-expanding flight that lasted for over an hour, the XQ-58A demonstrator successfully completed all 43 baseline test objectives, plus six additional tests, for a total of 49. The system deployed its parachutes and landed normally, validating the design changes incorporated for the test flight airbag system following the third flight. To date, the Valkyrie has flown more than five hours, Steve Findlay, president of Kratos Unmanned Systems Division, said, I am thrilled for our joint Kratos and AFRL team. With another successful flight and substantial envelope expansion specifically targeted at validating a near-term mission requirement, we continue to illustrate the potential of the XQ-58A and validate our objective for rapid development of a low-cost, attributable, strike UAS. We look forward to continuing to support AFRL and our other customers in application of the Valkyrie to both existing and evolving duty opportunities. The XQ-58A Valkyrie system is a low-cost, multi-mission, runway-independent unmanned air vehicle UAV, capable of long-range flights and high subsonic speeds intended to support a variety of defense mission applications. It was developed by Kratos Unmanned Aerial Systems in partnership with the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory AFRL, on the Low Cost Attributable Strike Demonstrator LCASD, program. In addition to the Valkyrie's extreme survivability and adaptability, as part of AFRL's Low Cost Attributable Aircraft Technology LCAAT, portfolio, the aircraft is designed to break the escalating sea. Steve Findlay, President of Kratos Unmanned Systems Division, stated, with this most recent milestone, the readiness of the XQ-58A is accelerating and increasing the near-term application opportunities for the system. I am extremely proud of our development, production, and test teams who continue to deliver successful results, in record time, on our comprehensive system-level efforts, rare within the aerospace and defense industry. In addition, I appreciate the cooperative and team-based relationship Kratos has shared with AFRL in the development and demonstration of the Valkyrie. The XQ-58A demonstrator is a low-cost unmanned air vehicle UAV, developed by Kratos Unmanned Aerial Systems in partnership with the Air Force Research Laboratory AFRL, on the low-cost attributable strike demonstrator LCASD, program. During the latest flight, the vehicle successfully completed its test objectives during a 71-minute flight. The Valkyrie is a multi-mission, runway-independent UAS capable of long-range flights at high subsonic speeds and a variety of applications. The joint effort falls within the Air Force Research Laboratory's low-cost attributable aircraft technology LCAAT, portfolio, which has the objective to break the escalating cost trajectory of tactically relevant aircraft. There are a total of five planned test flights for the XQ-58A, with objectives that include evaluating system functionality, aerodynamic performance, and launch and recovery systems. The U.S. Air Force's Kratos XQ-58A Valkyrie unmanned aircraft was damaged while landing after completing its third flight of the low-cost attributable strike demonstration program on October 9 at Yuma Proving Ground, Arizona. Unfortunately, High surface winds and a malfunction of the vehicle's provisional flight test recovery system resulted in a mishap after landing which damaged the aircraft, said an Air Force statement. The XQ-58A, part of the Air Force Research Laboratory AFRL's Low Cost Attributable Strike Demonstration LCASD, program, completed all test objectives during the 90-minute flight. The third flight continued to expand the envelope, successfully pushing the flight demonstrator to higher speeds and altitudes to further test the system. We continue to learn about this aircraft and the potential the technology can offer to the warfighter. This third flight successfully completed its objectives and expanded the envelope from the first two flights. We have gathered a great deal of valuable data from the flight and will even learn from this mishap. Ultimately, that is the objective of any experiment and we're pleased with the progress of the low-cost attributable strike demonstration program," said Major General William Cooley, commander of the Air Force Research Laboratory.
The scheduled fourth flight of the Valkyrie will be delayed. Kratos said in a statement that the prototype cushion system, which was employed for the initial test series but is not intended for ultimate operational use, suffered an anomaly during the final descent resulting in the aircraft sustaining damage upon touchdown. The statement added that the damage has been evaluated and determined to be fully repairable. Steve Findlay, president of Kratos Unmanned Systems Division, said, I am extremely proud of the team and the level of success we have achieved with the entire Valkyrie system. We have now successfully completed three virtually flawless. Based on the flights performed to date and the resulting data generated, we do not need to revise any of the airborne control systems, which is amazing for any newly developed system, but especially so for UAS. We believe that our customer set is extremely pleased with the XQ58A's system performance to date. The reliability of the cushion system is an area we must improve, and we'll be working with our subcontractor to perfect the system before Flight 4. However, this is specifically why flight test series are performed, to address any issues ahead of full operational capability being achieved. Eric DeMarco, President and AMP, CEO of Kratos, said, all of Kratos is extremely proud of our partnership with the Air Force Research Lab and the incredible progress that the team is making with the XQ-58A Valkyrie. In addition to the XQ-58A which successfully completed this most recent mission, Kratos has two additional company-owned Valkyries which missionization and flight regimes we are coordinating with our customers. From day one our intent has been to have multiple aircraft ready to be able to support multiple customers slash program needs and ensure aircraft availability is not an issue. Kratos Defense and AMP Security Solutions, Inc. announced that Kratos XQ-58A Valkyrie drone completed another successful test demonstration flight on June 11, 2019, at Yuma Proving Grounds, Arizona. The test marked the second successful flight for the aircraft this year. The inaugural 72-minute flight was recorded in March. Steve Fendley, president of Kratos Unmanned Systems Division, stated, with this most recent milestone, the readiness of the XQ-58A is accelerating and increasing the near-term application opportunities for the system. I am extremely proud of our development, production, and test teams who continue to deliver successful results in record time, on our comprehensive system level efforts, rare within the aerospace and defense industry. In addition, I appreciate the cooperative and team-based relationship Kratos has shared with AFRL in the development and demonstration of the Valkyrie. The XQ-58A demonstrator is a low-cost unmanned air vehicle, UAV, developed by Kratos Unmanned Aerial Systems in partnership with the Air Force Research Laboratory, AFRL, on the low-cost attributable strike demonstrator, LCASD, program. During the latest flight, the vehicle successfully completed its test objectives during a 71-minute flight. The Valkyrie is a multi-mission, runway-independent UAS capable of long-range flights at high subsonic speeds and a variety of applications. The joint effort falls within the Air Force Research Laboratory's low-cost attributable aircraft technology LCAAT, portfolio, which has the objective to break the escalating cost trajectory of tactically relevant aircraft. There are a total of five planned test flights for the XQ-58A, with objectives that include evaluating system functionality, aerodynamic performance, and launch and recovery systems. This year, the Air Force lists an $115 million investment in advanced technology as its biggest need, following a trend over the past several years in which the service used its SUPL to seek out additional funds for classified programs or cutting-edge development programs. Of that some $25 million would go to Skyborg, one of the service's highest visibility technology programs. The Air Force envisions Skyborg as an AI-equipped loyal wingman that could fly alongside fighter pilots autonomously, sending back important data to pilots and improving its skills the more it operates. However, the program does not currently have enough funding to start testing a prototype aircraft. With an additional $25 million, the Air Force would be able to integrate an unspecified number of vehicles with artificial intelligence, according to the UPL. That funding also would allow the Skyborg to be rapidly transitioned to U.S. Indo-Pacific Command and to a program of record. Will Roper, the Air Force's acquisition executive, 
told reporters on Friday that the service is still bullish on Skyborg. However, it opted to delay funding a prototype in FY21 because of funding throughout the budget for further testing on the XQ-58A Valkyrie drone, which will likely serve as the Skyborg prototype. The $115 million investment in advanced technology also would include $35 million for an AI-equipped version of the small diameter bomb. According to the UPL, the goal would be to create a prototype SDB variant that autonomously optimizes coordinated attacks on radar emitting or GPS targets, following rules of engagement that are predetermined by the user.